what's going on everybody welcome back to another video here on the channel today uh today i want to do something a little bit different uh if you've been keeping up with uh the dell jr download or dell jr in general or pretty much just nascar uh you'll know that the last couple of weeks there's been a podcast released with jeremy mayfield on the dell jr download they had part one last monday or uh, last wednesday my bad and uh, they just released the second part i believe yesterday uh, as of this recording. So I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, and recently in the mail, I got a couple Jeremy Mayfield 164s that I've been meaning to review. Uh, so I figured, you know, with that in mind, I was going to discuss my opinions on whether or not I believe Jeremy Mayfield uh, was guilty, uh, how we should treat him going forward, how our response should be, and what I kind of hope for Jeremy in the future. So um, we'll get to the review after but uh, I just wanted to talk about it for a little bit. So I, if you haven't heard uh, the podcast, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, even if you're not one that typically listens to podcasts, um, <clears throat> it's just a really good story uh, to hear him tell. Uh, he discusses how his uh, relationship with Ray Evernham was really uh, fractured, how they parked him and told him pretty much to get out of the car uh, at Indianapolis, I believe. So he kind of talks about that. Uh, they talked about the whole drug uh, incident, how the drug testing was kind of sketchy, which I'll admit uh, there were some definite, definite uh, skeptical things uh, that, that needed to be looked at. NASCAR didn't really seem to have a handle on what they were doing with the drug testing, and there's just some shady stuff in there. So do I believe Jeremy Mayfield failed a drug test and might have been doing some things he probably shouldn't have? More than likely so. Uh, you know, that's unfortunate for him. Uh, but he talks about how, you know, he had possession of stolen goods from this guy that had been selling them to him uh, at his race shop and how uh, he got raided and how there was people coming out of the woods uh, in all black, dressed in black with guns and stuff. And the part that I kind of didn't really buy was the meth in the safe, how he says they planted meth on him. I don't really know, you know, nobody will really ever know the full truth, but you know, Jeremy says they planted it on him. Whether that was his or not, I don't know. Uh, but I do believe that Brian France needs held, needs held accountable for that. NASCAR needs to admit their mistakes on their part uh, and let it go. It's been in the past. Uh, Jeremy seems to be doing pretty good now. I actually met him in Nashville last year at the SRX race. Uh, and he was super cool. He actually talked about Brian France a little bit. Uh, he said that uh, NASCAR was amazing until Brian France went and uh, effed it up was his uh, what the words that he used. But, uh, you know, Jeremy was a great guy. He's from Kentucky, where I'm from. So I've always kind of liked Jeremy. Um, but, uh, you know, it's unfortunate what happened to him. I think, you know, NASCAR needs to reevaluate, not necessarily reinstate him. I mean, at this point in his career, I don't really think there's anything he can really do in, in the Cup Series, you know. So reinstating him into the, the you know, into NASCAR in general would probably be a good idea, uh, you know, into the truck series, maybe ARCA, stuff like that. So uh, I do think that they need to reevaluate Jeremy Mayfield's situation, and um, I really hope the best for him. He seems to be doing pretty good now. Uh, he seemed pretty pretty good last year when I met him, so uh, hopefully he can, you know, get an opportunity in the SRX. You know, I know his relationship with Ray was pretty bad back then, but he talks about how they seem to have mended that, but uh, hopefully – you know, maybe SRX event comes up, he can get into that. But I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts about Jeremy Mayfield are down in the comment section. I'm curious to see what other people think. Uh, I definitely think NASCAR deserves a lot of blame for the whole situation. Uh, it seemed like they had a personal vendetta against Jeremy. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he wasn't perfect either. There were some mistakes on both parts. But I don't think one man deserves, deserves all the blame like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this diecast. This is Jeremy Mayfield's 1999 Mobile One Ford Taurus. So, taking a look at this car, this is a Team Penske number 12 back in the day. So, we got Mobile One there on the hood. You got the Ford Taurus nose with the cream. This has always been one of my favorite 2000s cars. Uh, you know, when you think of 2000s NASCAR, I think that this car definitely pops up uh, as being one of the most popular. I really like the blue, the red, and the white, and how it, like, kind of goes together I, it kind of still has that classic Penske look to it uh, but you got the 12 right there with the uh, mobile one uh, looks like the horse right there so uh, like I said everything looks really good on this 
Uh, I like the blue. It looks really cool. It, all the colors really pop together really well, too. So, uh, But you got the Goodyear tires right there. Got a red interior as well. I feel like I should point that out. So that's pretty neat as well. Got Mobile One right there. Speed Pass. And on the right side, you got the same old thing. So uh, this is a, let's see what brand this is. Hot Wheels. Yeah, so Hot Wheels making die cast back in the day. This says 1999. I believe it is 1999. I don't think it's 2000. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, definitely one that I'm glad I picked up in that lot that I got a few episodes ago. If you haven't seen that, I did a major unboxing where we got like 50 cars, I think. So uh, that's really all I have to say about this car. Pretty cool, Jeremy Mayfield, 1999 Penske car. Uh, he also talks about in the second part his fallout with Penske. So if you want to hear that, go check out the Dell Jr. download. Thank you all for watching. Reach up there and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.